Hello, my name's Ian Dealey. I'm a technical support specialist for Sharp UK and today we're going to be running through a training video on the NEO range of machines uh, MXC 250F and MXC 300W. There is no training prerequisites for this course uh, but please refer to the service manual for any in-depth information. So the MXC 300W uh, is capable of many things, uh, copy, scan, print and fax. Um, it has document feeder uh, and a duplex um, copying facility. Also capable of wireless network printing as well as wired network printing. Uh, it comes with a 250 page cassette with an optional 500 page cassette, the MXCS11. So this is how the machine comes unboxed, um, taped up obviously, protection, so we take the tape off. Okay, so we've dropped the front door, um, the developer caps obviously are attached to these tapes, um, once the tape's been off, the cap comes with it. Keep these caps for transportation of the machine. Um, helps to keep the developer um, getting any dust, dirt or anything inside it. So with the machine you get the documentation, uh, disc with the drivers and sharp desk utility on there uh, and any installation guides would be in the documentation. Okay, so you do get a starter kit with the machine, so starter toners, they contain 1,000 copies of toner and that's based on 5%. Okay, to insert the toner cartridge, as push, it's not locked into place, so just one push should lock it into place. The machine doesn't come with a uh, power cable, um, this is an FOC part that will need to be ordered when the machine is ordered. So on installation and taking the cassette out, pull the cassette out, lift up, there's a locking screw for the lift plate for the paper, turn and the lift plate will release. Also. To change said paper feed roller, um, take off each clip individually and the whole section lifts out or slide off and we can replace the roller. Okay, to load paper, pull out the set fully, drop the lift up plate, insert paper, making sure the guides are tied to the paper. Push the cassette in. When the machine is first turned on, there'll be a system check and then it will go into a warming up with a please wait. You may get a please wait while it does a calibration or process control.
Registration adjustment is located under the machine, so you will need to take out the paper cassette and it is visible. So a 5022 adjustment will give us the values and to adjust these values is a manual adjustment. Okay, so now we're going to access the network settings. Confirmation of network type at the moment is on wired with a DHCP. Connection type we can have wired. Wireless infrastructure, wired wireless AP. Access point, so you have wireless access point, so SSID security. Device IP address. Channel settings set to auto. And the distribution range of the IP address. So we can scan from the glass or via the document feeder. Scan to USB device, so pop the USB in the front. Select scan to memory device. Select resolution. When we're ready, colour scan, black and white scan, colour scan. Scanning four page documents, 600 dpi, um, because it's 600 dpi the machine is scanning at a high compression, so it does make the machine scan slowly. During the firmware update, the machine will switch itself off and come back on into a download mode and it will take several minutes for the firmware to upload. Once uploaded, it will come back and ask you to turn the machine off back on again and it will update the firmware. Now we're going to take out the fuser unit on the side of the machine. So first we have to drop the side door, exposing the fuser unit. Uh, inside there are blue screws which we can take out either side. There is a cap here we need to take off so we can get the connectors off.
Okay, so I've replaced the blue screw either side, um, the screw for the cap, and now I'm going to take the cap off, which exposes a further screw for the fuse unit. Okay, so now we're going to unplug the fuser, two connections on the side here. So one connection. Two connections. To take the fuser unit out. One thing to note, um, the machine when it comes uh, out of the box is set for the envelope setting uh, on the catches either side. Uh, so we need, we'll need to put these into the paper setting um, to supply the pressure to the fuser roller. Now once that's done we can take the fuser unit out. So now we're going to take the back cover off to expose the um, circuit boards on the back of the machine. Three screws. Okay, so once the three screws are undone and taken out, if you push down on the top of the back cover and then push on the side, it should release, lift up at the bottom. And then on the back panel, we do have uh, four locating screws at the bottom and uh, clips on the side, locating clips. So this panel can be a bit tricky, so just be careful with the clips. Once the back panel is taken off, the two side panels can be taken off. Firstly, the top panel here literally just pulls off, and this panel on the side will just come away from the machine. So once the back panel is uh, taken off, the side panel, there is also another side panel to be taken off. There's one screw holding this panel in at the front, as you can see. Okay, now we're going to take out the laser. So to take out the laser, we have two screws located either side. So now we've taken the two screws out, the laser unit is free. So what we need to do is undo the flat connection here. Uh, just flick up on the side cable will come out. Be careful with that cable. And then the laser will pop out. There is one more cable to disconnect. And then in turn we free the laser unit. So we've got the back of the machine. Uh, we have the high voltage power supply and the MFP um, to access the MFP board it is one, two, three, four, five and six screws. Light, or just pull off, exposing the board. Okay, so we've undo on all the screws, and now we have two T clips, and then in turn we can push the two clips to release the board. 
on doing the connector. Okay, so take the scanning unit off so we can get to the optics. Um, there's clips either side at the front, either side. Literally, they pops off and you can get to the optic section to clean. To remove the docking feeder totally, we need to disconnect. Um, so the connectors are on the MFP board, so we need to take all the screws off the plate. So we've taken the back cover of the MFP board off to expose the connection for the document feeder. So disconnect. And then also there's a screw holding the connector in. Freeing the cable. And now we're free, we can lift up the document feeder. Closing the wires, releasing. Okay, so now we can take off the uh, scanner top cover, and this is held in by two screws and uh, three clips. Once the scanner top cover is exposed, uh, make sure that the white reference plate is clean and all glass is clean. The scanner section is primarily a CIS unit, a contact image sensor unit, not a full optical mirror unit. Okay, now we're going to take out the internal section process unit of the machine. Uh, before we drop the front door to get the internal parts out, we actually need to take out the cassette. Now we're free to drop the front door. And we need to take out the toner cartridge. This exposes the toner collection box. Uh, to take this out, there's two little grips which we pull and the unit pops out. Okay, now we're going to take out the developer unit and the drum unit sections. And to do this, we need to take out the toner cartridge housing. And this is um, two screws uh, one screw here and one screw here. So now we've taken out the two screws to the housing. There is two grey clips, both with a padlock sign. At the moment they're in the closed position. You need to push them to the open position on either side, ready for the housing to be taken out. To 
So in the front door here, we do have a laser cleaning rod to clean the slip glass of the laser. And we can do this by um, lifting up the grey catches on each colour and then inserting into the hole, like so. Okay, now we're going to take out the developer and the uh, drum units of the machine. Each drum unit is held in by one screw. So this is the screw we're going to take out. Okay, now we can release the developer unit by pushing this grey catch. Pull in. As you can see, it is connected by a connector underneath. Uh, be careful taking this out. So the dev unit's all out now. Now we need to release the drum units. And to do this, we've taken the screws out. And to do this, we need to release the catch. And then the drum unit will pull out. So once the developer and the toner and the drum sections are out, the uh, transfer belt is exposed. Uh, to take this out, there's two screws uh, located one and two. Once two screws have been taken out, you need to drop the side door down. And then in turn, the transfer unit can be pulled out. Taking care not to touch the belt. Using the strap. So now we're going to take the back panel of the document feeder off. Uh, to do this we need to release uh, four clips underneath the document feeder. Uh, before we do this make sure that the wiring harness is loose on the back. So now we can lift that up and release the document feeder on the hinge. And then in turn we can undo the clips which hold the back cover in. Okay, now we've released the clips underneath the document feeder. This back cover will lift off, exposing the clips we've just released. Okay, now we've got the back cover of the document feeder off. Now we're going to take the E clip that secures the document feeder on this. Turn shaft splits, lift out. Okay, now we're going to refit the document feed rollers. Um, we're going to fit the green release catch on this side here, and there is a spring here that needs to sit on the top of this green catch. So we've got the release lever side in, so now we need to get this side back in. So tension the spring, pull the washer back, and it should slot in. Also, then the washer would sit behind this back plate and the bushing will slide in. So now we've popped the bushing back in, we need to reinsert the E-clip. Yeah. 
Thank you for watching the training video on the Neo range machines today. For more detail, please refer to the service manual.